Yeah, you can, bro. Miss Page, we can't let you go. Please. Yo, yeah, what's going on, Warriors? We're in there. Daredevil on Netflix. The show is ridiculous. The show is ridiculous. I thought it was going to look kind of like cheesy or cheap. No expense was spared. It's dark, it's gritty, it's raw. The fights are sick, the scenes are good, the script is godlike, the lighting, the cinematography, everything is godlike. I'm only on episode three, but the show is godlike. I'm done. We're not talking about Daredevil, Netflix. We're talking about Metal Gear Solid and Hideo Kojima. First of all, I'd like to address what happened recently. A woman called Donna Burke. She, I think that's her name. She's a singer. Yeah, Donna Burke. She is a singer that has done music for Metal Gear. She done the theme for Ground Zeroes and Phantom Pain. She came out and said on Twitter, Don't punish Kojima team because upper management wanted to fire a genius. A Twitter user tweeted her and said, are you confirming he has been fired? Donna Burke replied, yes, he is done. He's been fired. This is unfortunate because Konami then came out and said, she is categorically incorrect. Wordplay. Let me show you wordplay. I have £20,000 of a bank account. Did I just say I've got £20,000? No, I didn't. I said I have £20,000 of a bank account. I could be saying I've had £20,000 in my bank account. I just didn't include the word had. I don't need to because it's called wordplay. I've had before and I've had to get an injunction against the company that is keeping my money of £20,000. So I am going to be having it or I've had it. Wordplay. Throughout the history Politicians and people in power have always used wordplay to manipulate the opinions of the masses. To make them believe in an objective, directive or situation that they want to control or sway people to believe in. When the facts are in front of us but we don't have all the facts or the pieces of the puzzle to understand the full puzzle or the, what the picture is you know and that's the thing if you don't see a big picture or what or the, you can see little bits of it but if you don't see the whole thing then you don't know what you're looking at and these people are using that to their advantage sure they want to hide this fact because they want to they're scared they're scared if they come out and say kojima's fired people are not going to want to support konami because most people yeah they love the game but they love kojima they worship kojima so if you fire Kojima, you're immediately destroying someone that they like. Example, Street Fighter. If Capcom were to fire Yoshihiro Ono, the only god of Capcom left, I wouldn't be interested in Street Fighter anymore. Because I like Ono. Street Fighter is a godlike game. But because I support Ono, I would protest towards Capcom. Yeah, sorry. I just do that. Now the thing is, this has happened throughout history, because when you look back in 2005, what happened? Kojima made his own studio or company or production team called Kojima Productions. That was their team studio, 2005. 2005, maybe 2005, 2006, 2007, 2008. A lot of these things started happening when you saw Platinum Games appeared in 2007, 2006, 2007. Who are Platinum Games? They were originally the gods of Capcom. Shinji Mikami, he's worked with Platinum Games. Um, Hideki Kamiya, Inaba. A lot of the Capcom gods are now in Platinum Games because there was the divide, the power struggle that appeared in Capcom. They decided to leave. First they tried to make a studio called Clover Studios. Then they moved to their own studio, Platinum Games. This has happened within Bioware. So many people, Bioware was not always owned by EA, by the way. People that may not realize that. Bioware used to be its own company, Bioware. Then they were bought out by EA and then merged with other RPG um, studios within EA. And that's what Bioware is now. That's why some of the CEOs, the founding members and key figures within Bioware have left Bioware. Same thing happened with Bungie. Same thing happened because Bungie was a studio before Microsoft, be it with anyone that they're with now. 
obviously, they're doing Destiny with Activision. But they had their name Bungie. They owned that name. So they can take that name. Infinity Ward. We're not going to go into that long story. Basically, obviously, they didn't own the name Infinity Ward. Because the large scope of the people, the head founding people, and the key people within Infinity Ward, no longer work in Infinity Ward. They that make Modern Warfare. Cytrum Games, another company that was bought by EA. No longer are some of the key... I would say maybe more than 70% of Cytrum Games... No longer work in EA because they've been manipulated, they've been destroyed. I can say, example, you have companies that are like vampires. They take something that is beautiful and they suck the life out of it. And they suck every single last bit of life blood out of it for money's sake. And then they'll destroy it and then throw it away. They do this all the time. Burnout, burnout Paradise, the Burnout franchise. Key example. This has always happened. Team Ninja, they've changed as well. This happens all the time. There's a power struggle when a company has a team or a studio within their company that brings in the money. Now you can say, these are teams, they don't have any rights. Of course they've got rights. What happens when Metal Gear brings in, I will say, 80% of the big revenue that Konami gets? That's how much money they make. Come to Metal Gear. He should be able to dictate some projects. This man has only ever done... What projects has he done? His main projects he's always ever focused on is Metal Gear. And he did Zone of Enders. Godlike game. Metal Gear has never really deviated from its original formula. Ever. Maybe he's wanted to do other things. But he hasn't been allowed to. We don't know this. He was working on Silent Hills. Now this is very, very, very unfortunate. Because Silent Hills looks really, really cool. Or PT, whatever you want to call it. Metal Gear Rising 2. We know this game is already in development. And if you don't know, now you know. It's already in development. What's going to happen with these franchises? With Metal Gear Rising, I don't think there's going to be Metal Gear Rising 2. I don't think there's going to be a problem with Metal Gear Rising 2. Because it's being made by Platinum Games. And this is made by Konami. But who holds the rights to Metal Gear? No one knows. Kojima Productions exists. Do they own the rights to Metal Gear? Is it a split ownership of the franchise, the trademark, licensing, nobody knows. What we do know is that Konami originally tried to take um, Kojima, his name, and the production team away 100%. They couldn't. They did this on the old Metal Gear name products, everything. Later, they had to put it back. Recently, they put back the Kojima name and productions on the old Metal Gear games and products. Currently, Phantom Pain, Ground Zeroes, it's still taken off. He had a podcast, a video podcast, or blogcast, or vlog. It stopped. He's done. He's serving out the rest of his contract until Metal Gear is done. Metal Gear 5 MV uh, and Phantom Pain is done. And then he's going to disperse because they're afraid. They're afraid that people are going to revolt against them if they say Met um, Konami's gone. Kojima's gone. This is unfortunate um, state of affairs, you know. I mean, I wouldn't call myself the biggest Metal Gear fan. Although I played every single Metal Gear game. I just want to put this out to you guys. What do you guys think? You know, I'd like to hear your opinions below, your comments. And this is a discussion I want to start. I want to start talking about this thing. What do you think is the future for Metal Gear? What do you think is the future for Hideo Kojima? If you want me to do a review on Daredevil, that's on Netflix. Let me know in the comments below. And I'll do a review. You know what I mean? But it's because you know, demand and stuff like that. So thanks for tuning in. Love you guys. Stay fabulous and keep tuned. Okay, guys. Take care. Well, you and me in the L.A. situation. Ooh. Big.